I want to talk a little bit about how stupid Photoshop is sometimes. Um, so we've got all our favorite tools, right? You know, um, B for brush, E for eraser, G for paint, P, L, lasso. All this stuff is cool, but uh, let's say I'm painting here. Okay, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna do this, and then move that, and blah, 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 blah. Oops, and then fill it, fill it. This is all cool, but the problem is, if you notice, my hand is like going all over the place for these keys. Um, and the reason why this is happening is because Photoshop, you know, our hotkeys are designed to be beginner friendly. So we have B for brush, that, that makes a lot of sense. L for lasso, P for pen, E for eraser. Okay, yeah, that all, that makes perfect sense. But what about for people who are, have been using Photoshop for years and all day long and it's, you know, it's, it's more a matter at that point, it becomes, I wanna have all my keys in a, the most ergonomic spot. That's easy to reach, less stress on the, on the wrist, first world problems, and less carpal tunnel and all that stuff. So there's a program that allows you to do that called AutoHotKey. And I'll just show you quickly what I've got going in it. And the cool thing about this is you can totally customize it to however you want it to work, but I'll show you how I've got it. Um, especially if you're lefty, a lot of these hotkeys don't make any, they don't work right because you're lefty um, and it's designed for righty. So what I've got is I've remapped my control key to, to the right arrow, alt on the middle arrow or the down arrow and shift on the left arrow. So I've got all my modifiers here and then all my main tools are over here and like kind of for my, the rest of my fingers. So I'll show you how this works. Um, if I press page down, I get the brush. Page up, I get eraser. And, and also if you hold any key in Photoshop and let it go, it goes back to your old tool. So if I'm brushing, I can hold page up, erase, and then let go and I'm back to back to brush. Um, I've got eight for lasso because I'm lassoing all the time. And since we've got our modifiers here, I can shift eight to add to the lasso or alt eight to subtract from the lasso. And then I've got fill on star. So I'm using fill all the time too. Um, and I can do undo with alt and left arrow. So alt left arrow. See that? And alt right arrow will go forward. So instead of my, my hand moving around in a million different places for all this stuff, it's all kept in this general area. And all we have to do is switch our thumb to different modifiers to get different functions. So if I use the bottom key, I can get back and forward, right? If I use the left key, oh, if I use the right, no. Nope. If I use the key without any modifier, I get the brush size. And then if I hold down Alt, I can go back and forward. Um, let's say, what if? What about if I want to? Let's let's fill these in. And if I want to copy, or if I want to make a copy of this, I can hold Control and Alt, which is the regular Photoshop hotkey. And then you start dragging this around like that. What if I want to make a new layer? So normally that's control J. I'd have to jump over here and control J, right? So let me undo that, undo that. In, instead, I have it just on seven. So in this case, seven is doing control J. So I go seven, made a new layer. I can hold control, drag it around. Uh, let's say I want to go to the background and fill it, press star. Go to this one. Uh, I can control J again with with seven and move these around. So what if I want to 
say merge all these down I can say press 9 undo that alt 9 will go down one instead so it's just the you know you can make an endless combination of all this stuff and it's really great I got enter on spacebar enter and, and control as usual will um, or sorry, spacebar control usually will zoom like this. So all my navigation is over here in one key. I've got down and plus. So alt and plus will do this. I can just move my mouse, or my tablet, up and down for hardness and left and right. And basically over here I've got different stuff. So like home, I switched that to F. So I can switch to screen modes and we'll flip back and forth, flip the canvas, delete, I guess just deletes, and insert for image size. So since these things I'm not doing all the time, I leave them over here where I have to stretch a little bit to get them. But it's fine. So let's say I want to do like 3500, enter. You can still use the numbers here to enter into uh, boxes. And uh, what else can you do? You can switch color. Let's say, let me go back to home. So normally over here, you have black and white, right? So if I press minus, I can switch the, the foreground and the background. So let's say I want to fill the background with black. I can switch my color and then fill. Um, what else is there? Hmm. Well, anyways, from here, that gives you an idea of what you can do, the level of customization you can do with this auto hotkey stuff. So let me show you the actual, the hotkey script, auto hotkey script. Um, and it's, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. You can just uh, tell it, I want numpad four is gonna be closed bracket, which is a uh, smaller size brush. Numpad six is gonna be bigger size brush. And yeah, you, you can just, tell it everything you want it to convert to. You just put two colons in between the new button and the old button. Numpad multiply. Oh, okay, that's fill. Oh yeah, I got transform. So let's see. Let's say I've got a uh, lasso here and I want to transform it. I just press the divide key. And I can go like this. Um, oops. And uh, let me do that with something selected. And you can always hold control to skew it. And then down and space will enter. So yeah, I will um, include this in the link in the video. You can try this out if you want. Or you can just use it as a template and just change, swap stuff out for yourself and make it how you want it to be. And if you want reference on all these different commands, look up auto hotkey. And there's a lot of information here. Let's say auto hotkey uh, reference. And we have. Uh, this one, there's a lot of good help here to show you what what everything means. Alright guys, so I just wanted to uh, share that because this is something that's been bugging me about Photoshop for a while and I thought this is a good thing for you guys that are doing it all day. <laughs>